everybody. So we have two more books today. This is Goldie Socks and the Three Librarians. Get it? They're bears. And also, Pete the Cat checks out the library. I'm sensing a theme. All right, let's get started. Oops. Goldie Socks and the Three Librarians by Jackie Mims Hopkins. Once upon a time, nestled deep in an enchanted forest, there lived a book-loving bear family. Papa Bear was a public librarian, Mama Bear was a school librarian, and their son Baby Bear was a librarian in training at the Grizzly Preschool. One morning, a little girl named Goldie Socks was on her way to school. Goldie Socks usually walked along the road, but this day, since she was running particularly late, she decided to take a shortcut through the forest. By and by, Goldie Socks came upon an astonishing sight. There in the middle of the forest, she saw a cottage that appeared to be made of books. Goldie Socks loved books more than bears love honey. So she went up to the house for a closer look. She knocked on the door and to her surprise, it creaked open. Cautiously, Goldie Socks peeked inside. Shelves and shelves of wondrous books lined the walls. She called out to see if anyone was home, but no one answered. Goldie Socks knew she shouldn't go in, but the temptation of all those books was more than she could bear. I don't blame her. Once inside the cottage, Goldie Socks went straight to the shelves and began browsing through the book. The first book she pulled off the shelf was too big. In fact, it was so heavy it fell on the ground. Goldie Socks went to another shelf, but the book she took from this shelf was too little. And then she looked some, through some nonfiction books and found one that was just right. Goldie Socks wandered over to another shelf, opened up a chapter book, and she used the five finger rule to see if the book was too hard. She started with a closed fist, and when she came up to a word she couldn't read, she put one finger up. All five fingers went up while reading the first page of the book, so she knew that that book was too hard for her. She tried another book, but it was too easy. And then she found a book of fairy tales that was just right. After she found several books that were just right for her, Goldie Socks began searching for the perfect place to read them. Goldie Socks looked around the room and spotted a big lazy bear recliner. She climbed up in the enormous chair and pushed back, but it went back too far. She surveyed the room again and this time she spied a poofy couch with lots of pillows. Goldie Socks sprang into the air and landed smack dab in the middle of the couch. Pillows flew everywhere. The couch was too squishy. Maybe there is a comfy place upstairs, she thought. When Goldie Socks reached the top of the stairs, she saw a tent made out of a blanket. She crawled inside the cozy tent and opened the book of fairy tales and began reading. Yes, this place was just right. Around noon, the three librarians came home for lunch. Papa Librarian immediately noticed that one of his books was on the floor. Somebody's been looking at my big books and left one on the floor, he said. And then Mama Librarian said, Somebody's been looking at my little books and put one back on the shelf with its pages showing instead of the spine. And then Baby Librarian said, Somebody's been looking at my non-fiction books and one is gone. Papa Librarian looked at another shelf and said, Somebody's been looking at my hard books and left one on the top shelf. Somebody's been looking at my easy books and put one back on the shelf upside down, said Mama Librarian. And then Baby Librarian said, Somebody's been looking at my fairy tale books and one is gone. Papa Librarian saw that his favorite chair was not in the same position he had left it. Somebody's been sitting in my recliner and left it pushed back, he said. And then Mama Librarian said, Somebody's been on my poofy couch and knocked my pillows all over the floor. The three librarians crept upstairs and when they got to the top, Baby Librarian said, Somebody's been in my cozy reading tent and there she is. Goldie Socks looked up from her book and saw the big, sharp teeth of the three librarians. Smiling at her. Papa, Mama, and Barry Librarian, Baby Librarian, joined Goldie Socks in the tent. Papa Librarian read a story to everyone, and it was just right. The end. This 
is Pete the Cat Checks Out the Library by James Dean. We love Pete the Cat. Pete's mom was taking him to the library for the first time. The librarian gives Pete his very own card. Cool, says Pete. The librarian smiles. Time for the tour. The librarian takes Pete through the library. There's a big desk where people wait to check out books. Pete sees some of his friends reading at a long table. It is very peaceful and quiet. How relaxing. The librarian takes Pete to her favorite room. There are lots of Pete-sized chairs and tables and shelves. There are books of every size, shape, and color. What do I do now? Pete asks. Now you read a book, the librarian says. Which book should I read? asks Pete. You can read any book you like, says the librarian. And Pete looks around. There are so many books. Pete picks up a book all about airplanes and jets. He reads it and pretends that he's a stunt pilot. And he flies a super fast jet and does the loop-de-loops and spirals high in the sky. And then Pete finds a book with dragons, wizards, and unicorns on the cover. He reads it and imagines that he is a powerful wizard using magic spells and a special wand to defend his castle against a fire-breathing dragon. Next, Pete opens up a book about spiders and insects. He reads it and imagines that he is a scientist studying all types of critters in the world. He has to be very still to study some critters and very fast to study others. Then Pete chooses a book with all sorts of scary monsters on the cover. It's a book of fairy tales. Pete reads it and pretends that he is in a dark, spooky forest trying to outsmart a big, bad wolf. Pete puts that book back on the shelf. It is too scary. Pete opens up a book about the pyramids in Egypt. He reads it and pretends that he's an explorer riding a camel across the desert and climbing to the top of a giant pyramid. Next, Pete picks up a book with all sorts of robots on the cover. He reads it and imagines that he is a robot at a robot dance party. His arms and legs make whizzing sounds while he moves. And when Pete Robot says, beep, boop, beep, boop. Next, Pete picks up a book about superheroes. He reads it and makes believe that he is a superhero. He flies around the city in a colorful cape, chasing bad guys and saving the day. Then Pete spies a book about the ocean and all of its creatures. He reads it and imagines that he is a scientist in a submarine deep in the Atlantic Ocean, looking for whales, squids, and sharks. There are so many wonderful books to read at the library. Pete can be whatever he imagines with a book. Reading is super groovy. The end. Hope you had fun. See you tomorrow.